Yeah, the Baltimore Service Line Partnership has less than 10 months to figure out what 230,000 water pipes on private property are made of, and they're asking those residents to check their pipes for lead and report the results. The partnership says it's a strategy that avoids DPW entering people's homes and infringing on residents' privacy. But the licensed home inspector we talked to says most homeowners can't take on this burden. Utility, who normally wouldn't have anything to do with that pipe, actually is being asked to report on that pipe. The Baltimore Service Line Partnership's second public meeting was in South Baltimore on Monday. With city and county officials answering questions, teaching residents how to test their pipes for lead, and how to complete the online survey. How many of their customers' water pipes contain lead? As 11 News Investigates was first to report in November, nearly 230,000 pipes need to be checked. And you just scratch the surface, you're looking to see what color that pipe is. Um, you're uh, putting the magnet on to see if it actually sticks. Similar public meetings are happening statewide and across the country because of a federal requirement that every water utility nationwide report what their pipes are made of by this October. The long-term goal, find and replace every lead pipe nationwide. Lead can cause serious health problems, especially in children and pregnant women. The EPA states no amount of lead is safe in drinking water. We're asking for your help to do this survey, asking for you to help your friends, help your family, help your neighbors. But how reasonable is that request for homeowners? We wanted to see ourselves. All right. We've got a couple panels over here. We asked a city resident with a blue dot, meaning her pipe needs to be checked for lead, if we could bring along a licensed home inspector. So do you do you know what's coming in here? Not particularly. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you can tell all this is newer. So this has been replaced. This okay. is CPBC here. But like I said, that over here is where the main water line comes in. Okay. Jess bought her row home on South Newkirk Street in 2020, one of the hundreds of homes in the Greektown neighborhood that has a blue dot. But checking Jess's main water line presents a few problems. We're somewhere about here where that actually comes into the house, mm -hmm. right? So you're, you've got to open this up to be able to get to that. This is the main water shutoff. But that's not where the partnership's tutorial video tells homeowners to test. Lightly scratch the service line where it enters the home as close to the wall as possible. They want you to do the scratch test there, where the pipe enters the home. In Jess's case, behind a finished wall. Especially in Baltimore, it's going to be very difficult for the homeowner to figure out exactly what type of ma material is coming into the house. One, most of these are finished. Jordan Bird says he's inspected roughly 6,000 homes in Baltimore over the years. I don't think most people are going to start coming and cutting holes in their wall to figure out exactly what it is. One, because most people don't even know where it is. Bird says from the looks of it and from doing the scratch test on the pipe here, He's pretty confident the pipe is galvanized steel, but he says certainty only comes one way. You got to open up your wall to be able to tell. Bird says of the city homes he's inspected, one in five has a finished wall blocking the pipe that needs to be scratched. We want to get as close as we can to the wall, but it does not have to be right at the wall. It's as close as you can get to it. In Jess's home, as close as you can get is roughly three feet away. And while Sayan says that's good enough for DPW's survey, Bird says for him to feel comfortable submitting an official home inspection report, he would need to be able to access the main water line where it comes into the home. And Bird noted another point of confusion for homeowners. Just because the scratch test makes the metal look shiny silver doesn't mean it's definitely lead. He says both galvanized steel and lead will look that way after scratching. Next, Jess got to work filling out the survey with the information she now had including two photos. Uh, thank you for taking the time to complete the survey. Once we have reviewed and accepted your survey, your service line material will be updated on the service line inventory map. With her survey submitted, Jess reflected on the process. I would never have known to have it checked, to check it myself, where to check it. If you hadn't had a certified home inspector here doing this with you, do you think you would have been able to do this? No. It's important to note that lead pipes are not inherently dangerous, but if they corrode, that's when lead can leach into the water. And while Bird didn't feel comfortable reporting what Jess's pipe was made of without opening up the wall, the partnership map has now removed the blue dot from her home. Coming up at 6, the service line partnership reveals new details about entering people's homes, when the inventory process will wrap up, and how many people have submitted surveys so far. For 11 News Investigates, I'm Tolly Taylor.